All of the people here are serial killers. Lovely. Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome back to another Gacha Life mini movie. Today's story is called If William Afton Meets Creepy Pasta and I'm so excited for this one. It's been made by Gacha Puppies. I'm going to have a link in the description for the original. Do make sure to go over there and show the creator some love as these things are really hard to make. Seriously, I don't know how people manage it. It takes hours. The more I've been learning about the Afton family, the more Gacha Life mini movies I want to watch about them. If you guys are excited for some creepy pasta, make sure to leave a like and now let's get into it. Oh, William Afton has fallen asleep in the kitchen and woken up in the middle of the woods in the dark. If I was him, I would be a little bit scared. Yeah, just a little bit. Since when did I come here? I was in the kitchen a few minutes ago. Well, now you're stuck in the middle of a creepy woods. So you're just gonna have to deal with it, aren't you? You know what? I don't care anymore. I'm gonna sleep here. I don't know how you could even attempt to fall asleep there. That would give you nightmares. Who is that? Hello? Wait, is that Jeff the killer? You don't want to be sleeping near him. Oh dear, William, wake up. Is he sleeping? I actually don't know who's scarier, Jeff the killer or William Afton. They're both pretty messed up guys. Who the heck goes to sleep in a creepy forest? I'm just gonna kill him since he's sleeping here. He's really gonna try, but William seemed to have dodged it, even though he's asleep. What? What the heck? William Afton has this thing where like, he just repels knives. Didn't you know, Jeff? Isn't that like a common sense thing? No, no. I don't get it, but okay. Jeff is so mad. Round two, he's gonna try again. Jeff is like, how can I not kill this guy? He's literally sat still. So what are you gonna try this time, Jeff? I'm curious to see what he comes up with. Oh, he's just trying the knife thing again. Well, it didn't work the first time. What did you expect? He's confused again. Are we gonna do a round three? William is waking up to Jeff just stood over him. Imagine how scary that is. Also, William, why has your hair changed color? I gotta say, it's looking fabulous. Dude, why did you do that? He ran away. He didn't say anything and he just ran. Oh, he's back. Explain to me why did you do that? Don't think he has an answer for you, William. Well, you see, no one sleeps in this creepy forest and you're the only one who slept here, so explain. I was in the kitchen a few minutes ago and when I woke up, I ended up here sleeping. You're weak, mate. Ooh. Ooh, savage. I'm sure Jeff is really gonna take offense from that. It might just make him angry actually. Yeah, he looks a little bit angry to me. What is going on? Why does my hand hurt when I punch you? I don't know, maybe it's magic. Oh my goodness, is that Slenderman? He just appeared out of nowhere. The lack of facial features is kind of freaking me out. What's going on here? Slender, this dude isn't human. Not human? Hey, would you like to come with me? There's no way that I'm Coming. Well, you didn't have a choice because you've been teleported against your will. Oh, nice house though. Is this where Slenderman lives? Honestly, I thought he'd be living in a dump. Looks like he's moved up in the world, got himself a nice apartment. I just said no. Oh, Jeff ran. <laughs> What is with Jeff and always just running away? Leaving Slenderman and William. Two strangers just living their best lives. Now, who are you? The name's Slenderman. And who may you be? The name is William Afton. And I've murdered many children. That is one way to introduce yourself, isn't it? I'm William Afton and I kill children. It's surely a way to make friends, isn't it? Hmm. All of the people here are serial killers. Lovely. How nice is that? Yay. Creepy, creepy pasta. Pasta's kind of nice though. So creepy. I bet you're weak. William is just full of chat, isn't he? Who is that? Tiki Toby? I've literally never heard of this guy. What's going on here? Oh, nothing. I've got to go now. I have something to do. Don't do something stupid to this newbie. All right. What is with William and being left with complete strangers. Now he's with this ticky guy. I don't know who he is. 
but he has two axes and I don't like the look of him. Who are you? Did you not hear that long, tall white man? He said, don't do something stupid to this newbie. Where is William going? He's just running away. Why is everybody running away in this story? Where are they going? Why are they in such a rush? Then again, I bet William just wants to go back to his kitchen. Ugh, I'm just going to sleep here because I'm tired. I love how gacha characters can just pull a chair out of nowhere. That must be so useful. Kind of jealous. Who is that now? Every time a character gets introduced, they get more and more terrifying. Oh my goodness, he's gonna try and hit William. Where did Jeff go? I'm going to take his kidneys because I'm hungry. Okay, I don't know who EJ is, but apparently he eats people's Kidneys. Ew. With William's mind. What does that mean? Oh my goodness, we're inside of his head. Bye, Glitch Trap. I have something important to do. Glitch Trap is shook. Okay, he's waking up now. And he's like, did you steal my kidney? Because I kind of need that back. Hand it over. <laughs> As you would be if someone stole your kidney. Boy is mad. This is crazy. There's just so many creepypastas. A collective of creepypasta characters. Is it really called creepypastas? Is William. And he is not looking so good. I guess I should prepare a coffin for later. Yeah, William really ain't looking that good. He looks like needs a coffin. All right, Slenderman is here in this lovely palace with eyes on the walls and eyes on the floor. I would not want to live here. And EJ is just running on by. Because William is not far behind and he is mad. William, stop right there. What the heck did you do, EJ? I wanted to eat his kidney and then he woke up, so yeah. That's a normal thing to say, isn't it? I wanted to eat his kidney. Nice. Go and give us some privacy. Sorry, William. EJ is just like that sometimes. Sorry, William. EJ just likes to steal random as kidneys and eat them as a snack. Because he's crazy. We're all crazy here. He's like, it's okay. I put children in animatronic suits all the time, so I can't speak. His mood changes so quickly. Why is he now turning purple? <laughs> Slenderman is shook. Oh, he's fine. It's like he healed. Dude, how did you do that? Well, there's things that you don't know about me. And things you don't want to know. Like a lot of things you probably don't want to know about Slenderman because this guy, he's pretty scary. He's done some bad things. You might be the strongest here, I think. Well, I have a robot farm, which makes me stronger. Can you turn into it? Yes, I would love to see that, please. Make it happen. Sure. Yes. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. That is really quite scary, actually. A giant green William Afton. You're bigger than me. I know, it's great, isn't it? Yes, I guess you are the strongest one here. Let's go out then. Isn't Slenderman just so welcoming? Oh, I wish I had a friend like that. Not, I don't want friends like that. Please, Slenderman, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, it's not gonna work out between us. Where are they going? I'm so curious. Are they like BFFs now? Oh, they're rejoining the gang. Oh, I take that back actually. They just ran straight by them. Way to leave some people out, guys. I suggest that you don't mess with William. He has a robot form and he can't die. He might be stronger than Slenderman and he could break our bones. Slenderman's like, this is my back garden. Like, this is where I have the barbecues. What is that? What was that? That was so weird. Like a pink, cute octopus creature? I couldn't tell you what that was. I have no idea. And even William was scared of it. What the heck is wrong with you? Where'd he go? With William Afton, because he's just left. He's not having it. Is he back in the kitchen yet? Oh, he is. Finally, I'm back. That must feel so good to be back home after randomly appearing in the middle of Slenderman's forest. Oh my goodness. Wait, is that not William? How are there two Williams now? Oh, what the heck just happened? Maybe he went to the wrong dimension or the wrong universe? I don't think he was meant to be there. Well, guys, that is where the story has ended. It was just a little fun one about William Afton meeting up with some creepypasta characters. And honestly, I'm here for the crossovers. Guys, if you did enjoy it and you want to suggest some stories for me to read, put them in the comments and leave a like on the video. And if you're feeling up to watching another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.